They fucking uh, never picked up my tickets. They fucking did not answer phone calls. I texted Homeboy multiple times, email, and I Facebook messaged and wrote on their wall to them about the fucking show tonight. No response. Never heard anything for like three fucking weeks. And today I woke up and I was like, all right, I'm going to fucking get on Facebook and I'm going to fucking get a band and just boot these guys off. What? Mike. Am I on? You're not. You're on, but you're not like, there you go. Oh, well, I wasn't trying to tell that story on air, but I'll finish it anyway now that I started. (laughs) You're on the air, dude. So, this band that may or may not be playing tonight uh, did not pick up their tickets, returned no contact. I I contacted them in every possible way other than showing up at their house, which I don't know where it is. And uh, or he would have done that too. Yeah. Sometimes they give you the address. Done that too. Because you know what sucks about it, man, is that it, it makes me look like an asshole. If some band doesn't show up, then the bartender's not making any money, and then I look like a dick. So I finally, I was just about to write a Facebook post like, "Hey, I need a band last minute tonight." You know, whatever. And then the homeboy texts me back today at like nine or ten a.m. And it's what like, time are we load in? We're yeah. He was like, "Hey, we're in." What time do we play? And I was like, 10.40. I sent you in advance, like, three weeks ago. Wow. <laughs> That's insane, dude. You're not even kidding, huh? That's what, actually why I called you this morning, because uh, I was going to ask you, like, hey, do you think, do you know anybody that might want to just jump on all of a sudden, because I'm about to do a Facebook So post. had they actually, like, they previously confirmed, confirmed? Yes, or? like, I talked, we talked about a month to five weeks ago, probably, when we confirmed the show, uh, you know. He was, you know, it was a si- typical thing. Let me check with the bandmates. I'll get back to you. Got back to me. We're in. You know, all right. Flyer, tickets, everything's out. Advance is out. Fucking a week goes by. They never came and got their tickets. Another week goes by. All of a sudden, we're Facebook messaging them, doing every kind of contact possible. Wow. And then just text you today. Text me today. That's pretty classic, dude. That's classic. I, you know, we get a lot of that on the lower level, you know, because we're trying, yeah, I mean, we're trying to help bands it's, it's, out, you know. It's these Wednesday nights, you know, and it is what it is. It's just stressful, man, because, like, that was, like, my top priority for this morning was, like, all right, I got to get a fourth band for tonight because these guys are probably not going to show up. <laughs> we're good for the show, man. We're, like, ten minutes from now, right? Yeah. We'll be there in ten minutes. We're good for the show. Anyway, talent buyer woes. I think yeah. uh, <laughs> the three of us in this room can identify with that. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. It's been a hell of a show, gentlemen. <laughs> Has been a hell of a show. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm glad it's over, but I'm stoked for next week, and I'm stoked now. You know, you kind of get on this emotional high sometimes when these shows go well, and you have a bunch of guests. People are interacting well. Um, it's the opposite of when you have a guest in, and and then you ask them a question, and they say, uh huh, yeah, <laughs> you know. We have high that's, expectations. You that's know? a got, journalist's worst nightmare, right there. Yeah. Is, is the person that doesn't talk like, and you I, it's, you hear that on the print side too. You know, like I'll do a story on somebody, and I'm doing everything I can with the little little fucking five words that you gave me to say about you. Right. You know, I, I'm not gonna make shit up out of my ass. You know, but anyway, we, we get some winners too. What was yeah. that one? It was like, uh, um, we're gonna. What do you say? You're gonna shit, I promise. Or oh something yeah, like that. this band. It was like some dude from fucking Texas or something that emailed us and was like, he filled out the booking form and it was like, why will people come and see you? And he was like, when you see me, you will shit. I, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love moments like that. Needless ambitious. to say, that He's guy. An yeah, one. that guy's not getting a show at Herman's Hideaway. <laughs> But all right, well, this has been Music Buzz Live Radio here on World Viral TV. It's been a nice, fun program tonight. Join us next week. We'll have a new slew of guests. Uh, our guest of honor tonight was Tony Mason. Thank you, Tony, for coming down and Thank sticking you so around much through, for having uh, me. through the roller coaster ride that this show always turns out to be. It's been a fun time. Yes. Thanks to CT over there on the boards. We will see you on the flip side. Stay tuned. Mm-hmm.